Okay, so we'll get back to the gener generation two virtual machines. I'll open my Hyper-V Manage console and you can see I got uh, two Windows 8 VMs. One is called as generation one, one is called as generation two. But uh, you don't have to be get fooled by the name because in the bottom it will show you it's generation one and generation two. So uh, first of all, I'll open the virtu two virtual machines, generation one and generation two. And we will have quickly uh, look at the uh, the settings of the generation one virtual machine which is the most familiar window for you on the settings side of the virtual machine a lot of options are there for you but if I open the uh, settings on the generation 2 virtual machine that's the beauty because you can see like half of the settings has been missing in generation 2 virtual machine we know we no longer have the ID because we don't need we can boot from the iSCSI uh, even we don't have the legacy network card options uh, because we can use it from the emulated, uh, no, no longer emulated network card drivers. We can directly boot from the uh, built-in Hyper-V bus uh, network card. Uh, Pixie boot is supported. If you look at the booting options on um, Generation 2 virtual machine, it supports the secure boot as well. For It's a built-in feature. So you can see a lot of like uh, legacy uh, uh, options has been removed from the Generation 2 virtual machine. But uh, let's go inside the virtual machine and have a look at on the device manager on both virtual machines. So if I go to the generation one virtual machine and look at the device by connection, you'll be able to see we have log PCI bus and to that one we, we get a lot of emulated uh, options for the PS2 and PS2 keyboard likewise. So all of them are emulated mods to support the legacy uh, devices. But when we move to the uh, generation two virtual machine and look at from the same aspect, you'll be able to see we no longer find that much of options of emulated devices. It's all boiling down to the option of Microsoft Hyper-V virtual machine bus. Under that, you will find all the device connectivity will be happening under the Hyper-V uh, virtual machine bus service. So this is the great enhancement on the uh, type two, uh, or otherwise I would say generation two virtual machines. So is that it? Is there anything else that we can get out of this one? Of course, yes, we have more this time. So as an example, we all know the pain we have to go through when, when it comes to copy and paste data uh, or information between Hyper-V case virtual machine and the host system. It's a pain. So with uh, generation two virtual machine that has been, I would say drastically reduced. As an example, if I open one of the generation two virtual machine, um, so initially we are getting the option, uh, what is the screen resolution and what kind of devices you want to connect to. So before I do that one, let me quickly uh, demo. In my host computer, I have a USB thumb drive and inside that one, I got a couple of uh, files and folder structure. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select, uh, give the resolution to connect it to this uh, particular VM, the RDP by 800 and 600. And under the local resources, which I want to map, this is the beauty. You can even uh, pass the sound as well from the uh, uh, VM. But let me go ahead and look at the devices and say I want to map the removable drive. You can see a lot of other PNP devices are supported. So basically smart card, if you want to uh, support smart card for the virtual machine, this is the D scenario. But anyway, let me look at the removable disk. And when I say connect and enter my credentials, and if I go inside the File Explorer, there you go. You can see it's demo for you as D, drive letter D, but if I open, it, it's showing the same folder structure what you saw in the USB thumb drive. So basically this means USB thumb drives can be connected to the virtual machines. It's a huge uh, saver. Now, what else? Um, so if I open the WordPad, just to demo you the copy paste capability on the 20, uh, generation two virtual machines on my host computer, I have a picture, so I'll control A and copy that one 
and control V and there you go simply as that copy paste so it's no longer uh, a hard job actually to copy paste data between the host computer and the virtual machines so it can be done easily because of the RDP protocol support we can copy paste uh, data between the host and the virtual machines easily so generation 2 virtual machines really brings a lot of enhancement but uh, if you ask about the speed wise uh, it's not that much of a speed wise difference but the, the benefits that we are bringing by generation 2 virtual machines is far more beyond the, uh, the compared with the speed requirements.